guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. Well, delighted actually to welcome Daz back. So I am for the Rate Your Transfer Rumor Show. Yes, that's right. This is the show that rates the transfer rumor. And we're going to give it a rating between 1 and 10. 1 being highly unlikely and 10 being very likely. So we've got 5 down for decision today, Daz. How are you? Hi, you keep us the crack. All good. Good stuff, good stuff, man. We start off with Connor Kane, uh, dropped it to Shells. What do you make of this one? It's interesting because Shells have Ledwidge at left back. They signed Griffin, who was a Pats at left back. Connor Kane's also a left back. Um, that's an interesting one. However, Griffin has played a couple of games as centre back for Pats, so the plan could be to move in centre back. Yeah, uh, that is actually a kind of a funny enough one. Um, I think Kane would have quite a number of clubs after him to be honest because he's he's one of the better left backs in the league I think in my opinion I just think he's a natural left back he's very very good mm. but then like you said Shelburne like they have them options already and probably have you know a few other players that probably slot in there as well so I don't really think he'd be overflowed with um left backs I know what goes obviously we'll probably touch on them as well Breslin is linked away and we have Wilson but that's two great full backs and Shelburne will look in this with squad depth. They don't want him to repeat what happened last season. But, you know, funny you say about Griffin going centre-back. I, I think Griffin's a very natural left-back as well. I don't mm. think he wants to move in a player to a position where they're not really the best in for the sake of keeping him at the club. Different if they're a striker and scoring goals. Completely different. But I think in terms of him being a full-back, um, no, I can't see that happening. Obviously, Drotted is near Shelburne, so he probably wouldn't need to relocate too much in terms of a living and all that kind of stuff. So, mm. um. In, in terms of probability, I actually wouldn't rate this one quite high, to be honest with you. I'd probably put it at um, a six. Um, I don't think it definitely wouldn't happen, but mm. I think there's a few things that play to make it happen, such as does Griffin go centre back? Does so and so leave the club? And then does Conor Kane come in? But as I said, he'll certainly have other options on the table to win it. A lot of people will be looking, a lot of clubs will be looking at him. So for me, I'd put that one as a six anyway. Six out of ten, Conor Kane to Shells. Right, Robbie Benz to Dundalk, and obviously Stephen O'Donnell has left Pats to join Dundalk. Benz is out of contract. A lot of talk that O'Donnell uh, will look to bring him back to Dundalk, essentially. Benson was at Dundalk. He played with O'Donnell at Dundalk, and O'Donnell brought him to Pats from Dundalk. How many times can he get Dundalk in one sentence there? Yeah, it's probably, <laughs> the, most, probably, the, most, probably the most I've heard someone say Dundalk in one go, actually. Um, I actually think it's a dead start. I think it's, it's a solid nine out of ten. I think it's definitely going to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's just formalities, formalizing things. Like he's brought him around with him everywhere he went. Obviously, they have a close relationship on and off the pitch. Obviously, he trusts him. He knows what kind of a player he is. Obviously, Benson is a very genuine, good, hard working player, and that's something Dundalk's been missing this season. Genuine, hard working players, and they're going to want to bring in a few characters, shall we say, to get that team back together and get Dundalk back to where they should be, you know, because they shouldn't be finishing where they finish the season. And it's just not good enough with the budget they had, the players they have. And O'Donnell's certainly going to want to bring in players he can trust and that he knows. And maybe stay away from now from these foreign imports until, you know, maybe try one or two or three every season, but not four or five, six or seven. to sit and work out that the last time when they did it. And obviously he's gone back to Dundalk. He's going to want to bring players with him. And, you know, he's brought them around the league with him. You trust him, you want to cup with him. I think it's dead start. I think, I think I think it'll definitely happen over the next few days. It's just a matter of time. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, yeah. Hugh Douglas to Bray Wanderers. He was obviously at draw there last season. He's been let go um, or hasn't signed a contract, if you will. He was at Bray Wanderers before that. Um, I do believe he's from Bray as well, Daz. Now, someone could correct me yeah. here, but I think he's from Bray. If not, he's from Wicklow for sure. And... Um, Obviously, you know, he has ties with that club as well. So it'll be interesting to see what you think of this one. Yeah, um, Hugh Douglas is another genuine hard working player. And obviously, you know, this, this spray team coming up, um, obviously it's a lot of off the field stuff going on for them. But obviously very positive stuff, getting players signed in. They brought a few players in there during the week. And, you know, it's more rumours going about who they're going to bring in. And they could be a good force going forward, you know, in the first division this season coming. And I hope they are. And, I think Hugh Douglas is another kind of battler. He's someone that will always try and give 100% and another genuine player. And, you know, everyone will want a hard-working, genuine player regardless of the talent in your team because they will always try and they'll always do their best. And he has ties, you know, as you said, he was already played there before. I think he was like a fan favourite there. I, I know mm -hmm. he was very well liked in his time there. And 
he's a versatile player as well. He can play a range of positions. And look, I put this one up pretty high as well. I put this one up at an eight. Um, I definitely think he'll have options, but mm. I think out of everyone, if they come in, I think he'd go back there, definitely for sure, because it's a new project, it's a new beginning for the club. And, you know, he'll want to create more happy memories there. So I put this one pretty high. I put this one at an eight out of ten. Now, Johnny Kenny, who was uh, seen at a Hibs game at the weekend, he's been linked with a move from Sligo to Hibs, and Johnny's on a three-year contract. Now, apparently, if he was to leave the fee, there's a minimum fee release clause here in place at 150 grand. So if that's mesh, you would think that Sligo would be likely to... Well, they have to accept it because it's a minimum fee release clause, you know, but uh, it'd be a decent fee, I suppose, is what I mean, for Sligo if they were to get it. But uh, how do you see that one, Johnny Kenny to Hibernian? Very interesting one. Obviously, Hibernian over the years, the Irish ties, they've had Irish players in the past and they have a quite, you know, a big, big enough follower from Ireland. Obviously, mm. people might not directly support him, but I know, of, like, the likes of yourself, myself, would pay attention to clubs out there and you know, the leagues to score and all that. And, very interesting one. Um, 150k is a good price for an Irish league player. UK club comes in for you. I think you should go. I think you should try out. The move might never come again. He's young. If it doesn't work out, he can always come back and he'll always be taken back. And he has the form. We can see what he can do. Um, I just hope for Sligo's case, you know, if he goes for 150k, they put in another kind of clause where they get back 10% of a further fee. We've seen how it worked out for both, but already they got a lot of money. 10 years down the road which we didn't expect to have we didn't know how much we were going to get and 10 years ago who was you know how could you predict that we were going to get over a million and a half I think it was for him it's a lot of money so look if he leaves the league which I hope he doesn't because he's a great player we need to try and keep the best players but if he goes to further himself um, I wish him all the best um, I think it's quite high I think a lot of clubs are looking at him again it's not just Hibs yeah. there'll be a lot of unnamed clubs looking at him in the UK England in the League One Championship in Scotland. Um, I think it's quite high. I think it has to be a seven out of ten. I think he is going to go, and I think Sligo will get money from you know, a three-year deal. And best of luck to him if he does go. And hopefully Sligo, you know, will use the money wisely and insert a cause for their own sake. But I put this one high, seven out of ten. He's a young player, a smashing young player, and a great lad. So hopefully, hopefully if he does go, best of luck to him. But be great if he said in the league, the league's sake. Yeah, finally, and it's the other scale, really. Stephen Quinn being linked with... Uh, he's at Mansfield. He was at Mansfield on loan last season, been linked to a move to St. Pat's, 35 years of age. Former Irish international, uh, started off at Pat's as well in his young days. Uh, that's an interesting one. How do you see that one? Yeah, Quinny. Um, <laughs> not, not sure if people that follow the channel notice, but my English team would be Hull City. So I would have seen Stephen Quinn play live for all, quite a lot of times was one stage one of my favourite players for Hull. I think he went quite under the radar a good few years ago when he was in Ireland camps. I think he was a very good player, mm. versatile. If you look back on the FAI and the FAI, FA Cup final against Arsenal, and just watch Stephen Quinn's feet, his footwork, his technical ability, and you're just thinking, how is he not a regular in Irish camps gone in the past? Not a starter, but just in the team. Mm. Uh, obviously, of late, he's fell out of the league, so he went to Championship, League One, and obviously League Two. Um, fan favourites in England anyone if you read the comments on any teams we're happy to have him with the team always get 100% scored goals set up goals he's at a good age coming back he's experienced I think he would slot in very well into a Pats midfield or any midfield here um, again I don't just think it'd be past looking after looking for him I think Shamrock Rovers would try and get him I'd love him on balls but can't see it happening um, Dundalk what's to say they wouldn't be in for him a lot of teams would be in for him but interesting that's Pats um you know, he could be, imagine him and Forrester in the midfields. He mightn't play every week, but um, I think he'd be a great player to come back, a great role model for players. So, you know, started here, went across the water, played for Ireland, came back. I think that's brilliant. And Goody's a very honest player. He's a very good player. Um, I'd like to put this one high. It's actually the first I've heard of this one. But um, I I'm probably put them out, actually. I just tell people, I don't tell them what I'm going to throw out before we come on, just to make it more organic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Look, I'd probably put this one at a seven because of the age he's at and he's looking to come home and he's linked with clubs here. He's probably not going to get too many more, shall we say, good offers in England. You don't have to keep moving around the map mm -hmm. there. Family and all, he's not going to really want that. So if he comes back here, I'd love him in any club. He'd be brilliant to watch and I'm sure it'd be great for the league. You know, an Irish international, X1 coming over. You'll have neutrals watching. You'll have, you know, people who would have watched Ireland on TV. Think of Stephen Quinn just will 
we watched their past start my NRD too, whatever. And you know, it'd be brilliant for the league if he comes back and he's a very honest player. Um I'd like to put his foot high. It's between the six and the seven for me. And I put it as a seven. I hope he comes back. It'd be brilliant to have him back in the league. Brilliant stuff, Daz, as usual. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification button. And thanks for watching. Yeah.